So first of all, the uh, COVID stimulus bill, this was the $900 billion bill that I discussed on the last show. So a report came out yesterday that Trump is going to sign that or he has already signed it. Not entirely sure yet. There's a few details that we need to dive into here. But first of all, a lot of people are getting way too ahead of themselves with this story. There were a lot of people that are kind of jumping the gun and saying, I can't believe Trump caved. Why, why did he do this? This this bill was full of all of these foreign uh, monies that didn't need to or that didn't have anything to do with the virus at all. And of course, that, that is true that the, the bill didn't have anything really to do with coronavirus. There was a, a ton of things packed into this omnibus bill. So the, the basic gist of all of this is that there are a few more details to what Trump said, and, and it's in his full statement. And but first of all, the the idea was that he was trying to give the or get Congress to vote for the two thousand dollars stimulus instead of six hundred dollars per person. And the reason why this happened, the reason why Trump is signing this, and there's a few more details to get into, but the reason why he signed it is that he was actually averting a government shutdown. Now, I, I don't know if you remember, but there was a bill that they were trying to pass uh, maybe two years ago now or about a year ago where Trump basically refused to sign it and the government shut down and people weren't able to get paid that were in government. And it was this big news outbreak. I don't know if anybody remembers that, but it was this overly blown situation about the government shutting down. So basically, if Trump didn't sign this stimulus bill, the government would have actually shut down on Monday night today. So him doing this, first of all, is to make sure that the news headlines don't read Trump refused to sign bill that kept people from getting their pay uh, for the stimulus. That, that's basically what the mainstream media would have run this as. And we know that to be the case because they've done it before. They would, of course, ignore the reasons why he chose to do it. They'll ignore the fact that he was trying to get more money for American citizens. But they will run that headline saying that it's Trump's fault that you're not getting your stimulus check and turn it basically everything against him. So he put out a statement basically saying as president of the United States, it is my responsibility to protect the people of our country from the, uh, from the economic devastation and hardship that is caused that was caused by the coronavirus. Trump said, I understand that many small businesses have been forced to close as a result of harsh actions by Democrat run States. Many people are back to work, but my job is not done until everyone is back to work. And the, of course that is an incredibly good statement because He's shedding light on the fact that the, the Democrat run states, for the most part, are completely closed. People aren't able to work at all. And, and the ultimate goal here is to get people back in their job and not to necessarily stuff their pockets with a bunch of cash, because all of all that really does is just kind of prolongs the overall issue that people that want to work should be able to work. So the the big kind of detail that was missed by a lot of people is that Trump's going to use the Empowerment Control Act of 1974 and uh, to basically try and get Congress to drop the wasteful spending that was going to basically uh, allow for him to boost the amount that was going to go into the stimulus checks. So Trump said that he would sign the bill along with making a few uh, changes under the Empowerment Control Act. Uh, this allows the president to impound funds when he transmits a special message in accordance with with the ICA. So effectively averting funds and moving that towards what it should be, which is the American people. So he said in a longer statement, I will sign the omnibus and COVID package with a strong message that makes clear to Congress that wasteful items need to be removed. He's talking about the, of course, the foreign aid, a lot of the things that were going to museums and places that are closed doesn't make sense. Um, he said, I will send back to Congress a red line version item by item, accompanied by the formal rescission request to Congress, insisting that those funds be removed from the bill, Trump said. I am signing this bill to restore unemployment benefits, stop evictions, provide rental assistance, add money to PPP, return our airline workers back to work, add substantially more money for vaccine distribution, and much, much more. So this is a big deal. And, and like I said, a lot of people really kind of miss this idea. He's signing it, but he's sending it back with things crossed out effectively. It's like a checklist. And he's and he's saying, no, I'm not agreeing to these things, but I am agreeing to these other things that are actually helping the American people. And here are my conditions. That's effectively what is going on. This bill from the start should have been America first. And there's a ton of information about that already that I've discussed, but 
basically this was a, a good thing because at the same time, Trump was able to keep the news from reporting that it was him that was holding up the stimulus check and lying and putting out headlines that way because you know they would. Of course, the headline would say that. And then in the text, maybe at the very last part of the article, they'll say something like, well, he was actually on a video saying something like more money for everybody, you know, things that people most of the time aren't going to see. So it just kind of builds this animosity towards President Trump. But the point is, is that he's able to dodge that bullet and yet find a workaround to actually still allow for him to make some changes to this bill. So he said on Monday, the House will vote to increase payments to individuals from 600 to 2000. Therefore, a family of four would receive 5200. Additionally, Congress has promised that Section 230, which so unfairly benefits big, uh, big tech at the expense of the American people, will be reviewed and either be terminated or substantially reformed. So th he's kind of stuffing the Section 230 stuff in there as well, which is dealing with the publisher kind of aspect of online companies like Twitter, like are they a publisher or are they a platform and kind of going against that because Section 230 obviously does need to be reformed. Um, so if this works the way that he's intending it to, that is what we need. That That is what is needed most is actual money for the American people that is helping to stimulate the economy. That, that was the original kind of point uh, that came from the original stimulus bill was that this is money that we're injecting back into the economy. It's already your tax dollar. So here you go, take it and use that. And now after 10 months of absolutely nothing, we're getting even less. And a lot of our taxpayer dollars are going elsewhere. So of course, that is uh, good news that Trump is actually trying to do this. So had to be a little bit careful to make sure that we're reading the full story of all of this stuff instead of just kind of the headline and assuming that we know what's going on when in fact we don't. And we're just kind of reading bits and pieces of information instead of the actual president's message that he sent out to everybody, or at least that press release. You just watched a clip from the William Hall Show. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.